What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Marvel's Avengers and today I'd like to talk about elemental damage. I took this piece of gear that I had on Iron Man. Of course, as you can see in the perk section, it has something called Gamma Chamber and this is one of the elemental damage types in game. There's several things you're going to need to look at. The first thing is of course, what procs this Gamma Chamber damage. Of course, on this particular piece, it says laser attacks deal gamma damage. So anytime I would be dealing a laser attack with Iron Man, I would actually be dealing gamma damage as well. Something you're going to need to keep in mind is this is a five-star piece of gear. A five-star piece of gear is going to give you a guaranteed elemental damage type based on you know a certain ability or skill or whatever the case may be. Not everything's always going to be the same, so you need to keep that in mind also. The other thing that you need to remember is if this would have been like a one or two star piece of gear, it would only gave me a small percentage chance to get to deal that gamma elemental damage. So keep those things in mind when you're looking at your individual pieces to see what kind of elemental damage they have. The other thing you want to remember is you're always going to want to have gear pieces with elemental damage on them, but if you're not using the abilities that are, you know, that really proc that elemental damage, they're, they're not really helping you out. So you want to make sure that you're equipping elemental damage style gear that actually has things that you use. So if you're not a fan of using the laser attacks on Iron Man, this piece of gear probably would not be the best for you. You can find things from like some of the skills like the laser attacks all the way up to uh, things like light and heavy combo finishing moves will proc the uh, you know certain elemental damage. So keep in mind all of these things when you're looking at each individual piece that you have. Now there's six different types of elemental damage in game. Plasma, Cosmic, Frost, Gamma, PIM, and Shock. Now how these work, or how you kind of know if they are working on an enemy, if you look above an enemy's health bar, there will be a emblem that will pop up that will be the uh, elemental damage type, and it will have a bar that starts to fill up. When that bar is completely full, you'll know you're dealing the max amount of that certain elemental damage. You will be dealing it the whole time while that bar is filling up, but when it is full, you're going to be dealing the, the max amount of that particular elemental damage. Uh, of course, the different types, like I listed, uh, we'll kind of go over what exactly they all do. When it comes to shock, this can chain enemies and it will increase your character's damage and crit. Also, when it comes to cosmic damage uh, or cosmic elemental damage, this will give your character a damage boost, but also restore health to your character, which is a really good one to have on more of a glass cannon style build. Uh, the next one is going to be Pym. Pym is kind of a funny one because it does reduce the enemy's damage, so you'll take less damage from that enemy. It will also reduce their max health regen. Uh, the funny thing is when you get it, get that bar full with the PIM element, it will actually shrink that enemy to a very, very small, tiny enemy where they're very easy to defeat. Of course, gamma damage is going to kind of put that green gas cloud on them. It, eventually it will explode and it's going to cause anyone or any enemy that is around them to take that damage from that explosion as well. Plasma is kind of a burn and splash style damage, you will see the enemy start to catch on fire and eventually some of that fire will splash off onto other enemies in the surrounding area. And it will also stun those enemies. So you're able to kind of take advantage of it, stunning them, them being on fire, them being able to kind of drop their block or their defensive moves. It is very handy. Uh, plasma is pretty fun to use. And the last one, of course, is Frost. This will reduce the enemy's defenses and also uh, give them a health regen delay. So you're able to take advantage of these enemies because they have, you know, less defense and also their health is not going to regen as quickly. When it comes to elemental damage, you're definitely going to be looking for pieces the later you get into end game to be able to deal more damage just overall with some of your attacks in game. So like I said, just keep an eye out on the different types of elemental damage, kind of build them around what your character is going to do, what kind of build you want. Also keep in mind, you're going to want to be able, like I said at the beginning, to be able to use the abilities that you like to use a lot. You want to find the gear pieces that will actually kind of work with what you like to do, what skills you like to do. You want the elemental damage to be procking off those abilities that you use often. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the elemental damage. Have you been looking for these gear pieces? Have you found a lot that you really like? I have not found the exact ones that I want just yet on some of my characters, but I'm still kind of just grinding that out. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, GT Racing, the Community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.